Would you like to know how to do your nails quickly, have them look amazing as if you went to a salon, but you're not gonna spend that much money and they're gonna take a quarter of the time to do every week. Then you're gonna wanna watch this video. Not too long ago, I mentioned in a video that I use press on nails and I got so many comments like how do you do it what's your technique for putting them on what kind do you use so we're going to go into all that today I'm going to provide links to my favorite press on nails and I'm going to show you the entire process I go through to put these nails on maintain them let's get into it right now so the nail set I'm using today is from impress and they come in tons of colors and styles. This is what I like, this French tip. And I'm gonna show you more options in a minute. But after I get out of the shower, I take the little, um, there's a little orange stick that's included and I push back my cuticles uh, on nice, clean, dry nails. Clean out the tips, just get my nails prepped. And prepping is just one of the biggest steps in putting on these press down nails is just taking a few minutes to make sure the nails are prepped properly. And if you can get your cuticles pushed back nicely, it will give a very nice clean line when you put the nails on. The next step in prepping is buffing the top of the nail. Now you're not gonna go crazy really hard. You're just gonna rough them up uh, gently so that it's a rough surface so that the adhesive or glue can stick to your nails and it really improves the length of time your nails, the um, press on nails will stay on your nails. The next step in the process is choosing the right nail sizes for each one of your nails. Now they have a little sticker on the back of them that has a tiny, tiny number on it. So if you can see the numbers, you can find the right ones for your nails. And then what I do is I go ahead and I line up all of the nails for each hand in order so that it makes it really easy to put them on when I'm in that part of the process. So see, there's my right hand, and now I'm gonna work on my left hand. Now you may be wondering why I'm even talking about press-on nails. Well, I had been going religiously to get gel nails done at the salon, and I noticed they were really taking a toll on my hands. In fact, you can see my left thumb has some damage to it from having gel nails on. So I took them off, gave them a breather, and I saw lots of girls that I know having gorgeous nails. I'm like, where do you get them done? And they told me they're press on nails. So I went and looked into it and now I'm totally hooked. So when you're putting the nails on, you're gonna start at the pinkies and work inwards and then do the thumbs the very last after you've done all of the other nails. But the most important step before we put on the nails is we wanna clear off any moisture, any debris, any oils, and you're going to take an alcohol swab. They include one in the pack because it's so important. I always have a few extras around, but you're going to take an alcohol swab and clean off those nails. So there's no reason for anything to get under there, cause any problems. You don't wanna get a fungus or anything. And then, these actually have stickers on them, but I use a glue. It's called a Plower Flex glue from Impress. And I use this glue along with the sticker for a really nice hold. I find it lasts about a week for me. And I'm just going one nail at a time. I've actually worked ahead and finished the right hand. And now I'm putting it on the left. So because I've got the glue on there, I can just hold it down. I hold it down for about 15 seconds and it adheres it and I try to press in different places on my nail to make sure that I get it down all the way. So it's got the sticker plus the, the glue. Now if you wanted your nails to just last two or three days, you don't have to use the glue. I just find that it gives me a little bit longevity with the nails, like I said, it lasts about a week. Some people can get it to last even longer, but I am very busy with my hands. I don't worry about whether I'm putting them in water. I just go about my life as usual. So I find that after a week, they're ready for a little refresh. And again, I just do a light coat as if I'm doing a coat of nail polish, just one quick little 
shot of the glue and then I'm going to peel off that little sticker and the edge that you peel off is the edge that goes like where the tab is is the edge that goes up against your cuticle and I just line it up there press it on and done there's no drying time other than the time the you know 15 seconds it takes for the glue to dry. There's no time that you're waiting for your nails to dry or, you know, I, I'm ready to go. In fact, a lot of times I like to do this at night, just as kind of like a wind down routine and then um, sleep on the nails. And I find that they last even longer after they've had a night time from that they're not getting messed with do you know what I mean they've, they've had the like the glue can cure I'm not getting into anything and they last a lot longer if I do them at night as opposed to in the morning before I start my day you may even be wondering why are we talking about press-on nails like you probably remember them from the 80s and 90s those Lee press-on nails that just kind of nails were popping everywhere well guess what during lockdown nobody could go get their nails done. And we all like having nice looking nails. And so all of these companies came out with other options of press on nails or different ways you could do nails at home while you were home all the time so that your nails looked nice and presentable and you had time to do them. So there are so many companies out there making nails like this that are absolutely gorgeous lots of nail art, cute details, holiday styles. I'm going to show you some in a few minutes, but that is how we got here with the way press on nails have revolutionized. It's because of what happened. And here we are now with these amazing options available. So I finished all of my fingers and now I'm ready to do my thumbs and it makes it so much easier, like I said, to work from pinkies inward to your index finger and then do the thumbs for last. So just putting the paint on, uh, the glue on, then peeling off the sticker, applying that nail and holding it down after I get it just right so that it can, the glue can dry. Now I'm holding down my last thumb and ta-da, nails are done. But you might notice, look, there's a little bit of a ridge there on some of the nails because they are manufactured. So just grab a nail file and file off any little edges or rough spots that you might see. They're very few. I think I have just one or two on this set of nails. I give them a quick file and they are good to go for the next week. Now the last thing I do just to keep these nails looking good and my cuticles looking nice is I take some cuticle cream or oil and you can see I love this Burt's Bees one. It's gotten lots of use over the years and I just apply that to my nails. Again, you don't have to worry about your nails drying. They're already dry, ready to go. Just apply some cuticle cream so that you, your manicure looks really professional. Now these are French tips, but for Valentine's Day, I did these beautiful red nails and I think they came out absolutely gorgeous and perfect for the holiday. These nails come in like this is called coffin length. They have rounded nails. They have the square oval like I wear. Look at these beautiful ones for spring. They actually did a collaboration with Love Shack Fancy. I love these. Look at the twall. I, I'm just so amazed by these gorgeous nails. Here's some beautiful springtime colors. They even have look, first bloom, new life. Just so many beautiful options and fun options olive and june i have been on a crazy train with their products lately and they actually have a whole system here so you can buy just the little nail set right here the press-ons or you can buy this kit that comes with everything you need to um, maintain your nails there's like a little uh, cuticle serum and just little tools to help you uh, but here you can see theirs come in lots of really gorgeous styles and again they have the square shape they have the almond shape they have oval 
lots to choose from. You know it's a thing when the big brands are getting into it and look at these from OPI. They are totally on board with the press on nail game and it says theirs last for 14 days uh, and they have lots of really unique designs. Here they have the coffin length and some really wild designs uh, but they also have a little bit shorter, more rounded, more square. Look at these. These are more like everyday type nails. Uh, but again, lots of options. Static nails. Now they just came out with a whole bridal collection, which are absolutely gorgeous. Look at some of these options. So you're having a big event. You want to have your nails look great. You just use their reusable pop on nails. They're beautiful. Now, how do you know it's time to take the nails off? Look, I, this is my telltale sign. When my finger starts to wear down like this, because that's my most popular nail, I take them off. So I just soak them in water for two or three minutes because it softens my cuticles so I can push down my cuticles for the next time and it helps loosen them. You don't have to do this. It's just something that I like to do. I dry them off and... Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to take these nails off. There's no pulling. There's no long term. I just get the glue off. And what's nice about this is that it has this little pointed, it's kind of a rounded tip with a little hole in it that has uh, like a polish remover or a glue remover. And you just kind of wedge it under the edge of the nail. You get a little bit of liquid under there. And I'm not kidding. It's like two drops of liquid is enough to just look at that. It lifts the nail right off. S because I use the sticker ones, you know, the sticky tab ones, sometimes there's a little bit of sticker on there that I have to take off. But that's it. It's done. Ta-da! So I'm going to do all my nails that way and just keep working them one at a time. Like I said, it's very easy. You just get a little bit of that liquid under there and the nail just pops right off. See, it just lifts. There's nothing holding it there. <laughs> it's amazingly easy. And you're not being hard on your nail. There is nothing being harsh on your nail. You're going to be surprised at how easy they come off. And then I take um, some nail polish remover. I like these nail polish remover pads. I'll put a link to them. And this just takes off any extra glue or stickers that were on there. And then my nails are ready to start the whole process all over again. What do you think? Are you going to give Press On Nails a try? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.